Hey guys, um, so I don't usually do a vlog, but, you know, this is very, this is a, a, a time in my life, you know, um, I'm homeless, and, um, let me explain how I, how I got in this situation. You see, my parents left me in Galveston, so I, I drove to Houston, and... I stayed at this place called Rice University for a week. I would not recommend. There was bed bugs and it was... Eh. But at least I had friends there. And I had this place to sleep. You know, and it was great. And I was like, hey guys, you know, they're kicking us out of Rice. Dude, would you want to, you know, hang out maybe? Um, you know, since we've been hanging out for like a week. And then, and then my friends were like, well... We have some other friends, you know. Their other friends are, are pretty cool and not homeless and I'm like that's honestly fair so here I am homeless in Houston and I don't know what to do um right now I'm at Chick-fil-a because you know where else would you go but Chick-fil-a you know Chick-fil-a always takes care of you um but I figured that it's time I move out on my own and find my own place to stay so this is this is my journey where I'm gonna find So, I figured out why everyone in Houston is bad at driving. It's because the roads are confusing as heck. Like, alright, so I was on this like circle thing, you know, one of those roundabouts that goes in a circle. And it, it's a roundabout, you know, it's pretty simple to use, except there were yield signs in the circle. So the people in the circle had to yield to the people outside of the circle. And that doesn't make any sense, and I have no idea why. But that's just the way that it is, and I don't understand. But it's driving here is difficult. Bye. All right, so this is this is just a quick update. Apparently, Houston has a lot of homeless people um, because I'm trying to go to the park at you know seven on a Saturday, and you know the only people that actually go to parks at that time is you know people who are look also looking for you know a, a bench that they can sleep on um, and there's so much traffic and there's literally nowhere to park so I'm pretty sure at least half, half of Houston is homeless and trying to find a bench in the same park but I don't know um, I'll keep you updated all of those people are homeless Houston is such a sad place all these people that just don't have a home. All right, guys. 20 minutes later, finally found a parking spot. And uh, I forgot to introduce you sooner. This is my roommate, Alfie. Say hi, Alfie. Hi. So yeah, we're gonna go find ourselves a. Uh, Oh. So here I am. Made it to the park. And I'm on my way to find myself a home. With Alfie. And yeah, we're just looking for a good place to stay. At this park. Look at all these houses. Those are kind of nice. I can't afford those. And if we come over here. This right here. Is royal living. I definitely can't afford this place. Wish I could though. It's nice. Oh yeah, and over there. There's a lot of people over there. Pretty sure they're all homeless like me. I bet that's where they hand out the benches in this big place over here. We've finally done it. Me and Alfie here. We have finally found ourselves what is known as a home. pretty nice rents pretty cheap nice waterfront property we have our own cleaning staff 
and yeah, I think I'll uh, be here a while. This right here is one of the neighbors. They've come to say hello and give me cookies, except I think you probably ate all the cookies. But, you know, the, the neighbors are pretty nice. You know, I like it. This is, this is home. Hello neighbors, welcome to my humble abode. This would be much more enjoyable if I actually liked birds. Okay. You know what's nice about ducks? Even when you have literally no friends to hang out with, there's plenty of ducks. Right, so my house comes with this, um, well, it comes with this pretty big bathtub, you know, but the only problem is I don't see a toilet or anywhere to, you know, do my business. So, um, I'm not sure what's, oh wait, there it is. Never mind. I can't stop thinking about back in the good old days. Feels like, feels like only this morning, back when I had a bed to sleep on instead of a hard bench. How quickly life can change. But yeah, here we are. I'm not here to complain. Well, I kind of am. But you know, life is as, as it is, even as a homeless person with a dead person as a roommate. I don't know. Life isn't that bad. You just get yourself up in the morning and you know, don't go to work because you're unemployed at the moment. And uh, yeah, you just live life while making the best with what you have. It's not right, Alfie. Right, so it's getting dark. And I just realized something, like, terrible, like, miserable. I forgot my pillow in my car. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go get it. And I hope that nobody breaks into my home and steals Alfie. Actually, no, I'm gonna bring him with me. But I hope no one, like, squats on my house and steals it. Cause like, I worked hard to get this house. You had no idea how many two-year-olds I have to take off the bench and throw into the lake so that these, so that I could have this for myself. I earned this spot and someone might take it when I'm trying to, when I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get my pillow. I don't know. Pray for me. Right, so just a quick update. I went to get my pillow, and then there was a really nice person who went in my parking spot. So I'm leaving. My home's been good to me. But, you know, I didn't really like the neighborhood. There was just, like, too many people that were all there for, like, a concert or something. It turns out they weren't all homeless. And the ducks were annoying. So, I'm gonna go find a new home. You know, wish me, wish me luck. Thanks. So. I was on my way driving to a new park so I can find a new home. Right? And, um, as I was driving there, I got onto the highway you know, and then I merged onto another highway that told me to, but then like as I was going on the exit, you know, the GPS didn't say anything, and I'm like, that's kind of weird, and then as I got onto the road, usually it says, all right, continue on for, you know, however many miles, but it didn't, it didn't do anything, and I was like, what's going on here, turns out my phone was dead, so then I had to plug in my phone while driving on the highway, and wait for it to turn on, which takes a good five minutes because my phone is really old and really slow. Right, so then my phone eventually turns on and I'm like, 
Oh yes, my phone is on. I can finally, finally figure out where to go. And then the exit was like 20 seconds away once it finally loaded the map. But thankfully, I found the exit, and no harm was done because I am an amazing person. But but my phone failed me. You know, I had it plugged in, but it apparently had like just barely got unplugged and died. And that was pretty scary, you know. I thought, well, this is the day that I get in a wreck and die. Because my stupid phone wasn't there to support me and to tell me where to go. But you know what? I'm alive. And I made it to the park. However, I thought this park would have, like, lights in it. But there's, like, hardly any lights. So I'm kind of, like, scared to, like, leave my car. Because it, um, it's really dark outside. So, maybe I'll find another park. Or just stay here. I don't know. Alright, so, so, I went outside. It turns out, it's not as scary as I thought. However, at the same time, you know, it's just as scary as I thought. But, it's livable, you know. There aren't any geese to bug me, you know. There isn't anybody here to bug me because nobody's here at all like literally nobody i'm all by myself which is kind of nice you know don't have all those annoying duck roommates i still have alfie though <laughs> so yeah me and him are gonna set up set up our you know house live here a new home. Alfie, we done made it. It's our new home. Right over there. That you can't see because it's too dark. And I have to walk closer. Just moved in. Just moved all my stuff. And my new... My new pad is looking pretty cozy. I'm really excited for... For you know, the actual quality of life that I'm going to live here as being a homeless person with a new, a new bench home. So, look at this, look at this. This is my new bench home. Woo. We have the bed, right? Have my pillow and blanket. Have a little trash can. Have my lamp to, you know, light up my world. I pictured my family right there. It's kind of hard to see because it's so dark. And then here's my skull, my Alfie. Right? And yeah, pretty nice setup. Super excited. Overall, I'm just really happy how it all turned out. You know, I have a really nice place to stay, complete with, you know, a pillow, a lamp, a picture of my family, a skull, even a trash can. Like, what more can someone want in life? Um, and I'm really excited for, you know, how I'm going to live this whole summer because this is pretty comfy. Like, once you put the blanket on the, on the bench, it's, it's not so bad. Like, I could live here. And I feel safe because there's a light, you know, right over there. Right? With this light, I mean, who would try to attack me even though there's no, literally no one around, you know? But there's, there's a light and that keeps me safe, I think. It is kind of hard to sleep with, though. I might move to a darker spot just because the light's so bright. But I mean, yeah, this, this whole journey has been amazing. And I'm so glad that it ended out so well. Um, isn't that right, Alfie? I'm really bad at taking videos. I'm really bad at vlogging in general. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just really excited about how this all turned out. It turned out, it turned out well. Um, and I'm going to be living like a king for the rest of the semester. Houston, perfect place to be homeless. Alright, I guess I'll keep you guys updated. Um, thank you for taking this journey with me. It's been really hard on me and I've really grown and I've learned a lot, you know, especially, especially about the ducks. You know, I didn't know so much about duck culture until today when, uh, when I had to move in with them and then got evicted by them. But yeah, I'm just 
super stoked at how, how this all turned out. And this journey has been amazing, you know. It's been difficult. It's been very difficult. I, I recommend not being homeless unless, you know, you want to be. But, um, yeah, it's amazing. Peace. It's really been a journey. But I'm glad to finally have a place that I can call home. And I even brought a pillow. So I'm just gonna call it for the night. Ugh. I will continue this blog if I last till the morning. Thanks and good night. Hey, so I was just laying here with my skull and some people walked by and one of them was like, hey, that looks like a painting. Him sitting there with that skull. And that made me like really happy because I don't know, it made me feel cool, you know? Like, even though I'm homeless, it's so cool, you know, I mean, I'm a, a piece of art. That's just how I am. Even, even though I'm homeless, even though I have nowhere to go but on this bench, I can still be a piece of art in and of myself. And I think that's beautiful and something that we can all be. I've learned so much from this experience. So much about life. How hard it is. How nice ducks can be. How not nice ducks can be. I don't know. I've seen it all. I've grown so much. Just this first night. Peace.